Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. It's been a few days since I've played, I know there was a bit of a lull, had to be away from my computer for a bit. And, uh, yeah, we lost a dupe, rip, in pieces, uh, in the last episode, and I have learned some things. Um, a couple things about the rocket platform that, uh, were mentioned in the comments from, uh, I believe it's Graham. Um, we could have put this a little higher where it's in front of vacuum and then it won't spread like the uh, the gas that it emits which is very hot will just kind of almost immediately get vacuumed out into space rather than spreading its heat into these tiles so that would be one option would be to deconstruct this and move the whole thing up that would help a little bit so I might end up doing that and the other thing that I literally just didn't notice there's a teleporter transmitter, which we can't, um, wait, is this the right thing? Oh, that's for teleporting dupes. There's actually a teleporter piece that teleports items. So I was setting up that whole rocket debacle just to potentially, um, what am I trying to say? Just to potentially get petroleum and yet I can bring back petroleum through the teleporters. So, however, I am a little confused because I don't actually know. It must have been in a different location because it's none of these buildings. So that makes me feel slightly better that it's not just in the same room. Um, but then where is it? There's a dupe in there that I can fetch at some point. Um... <laughs> Whoa, evolutionary dynamics of critter mutation. Okay, so maybe that can help you get different kinds of critters. Somnium synthesizer, a dream analyzing building, sleep specific suits. There are so many things like that. I don't know if that's DLC specific or if that's spaced out or if that's the natural updates they've added, but there's a lot of new stuff. Um, okay, where is the teleporter? Hmm, maybe, maybe I didn't miss it. No, I definitely missed it. Someone commented it was a purple building. But these are the dupe teleporters, not the item teleporters. So is it this thing? Supply teleporter, aha. Aha, aha. This is the transmitting side. Wait a second. So I can only move items from here to the other? Hold on. Um, supply teleporter output. Uh oh. Wait, so then I can't do what I want. Now I'm sad again. I think this does the opposite of what we need. Oh, there's a supply teleporter input. Okay. So there's a separate input and a separate output somewhere. So what I need to do is I need to get dupes onto this planet and we need to start our own little colony over here with food and beds and bathrooms. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of the next big goal. Um, is there dirt somewhere here? A lot of sedimentary rock, there's some dirt. Okay, so let's mine out some dirt here and that will get us some dirt for the outhouse. Um, algae can be good for carbon dioxide. I'm trying to think. Oh, poor Luan. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm trying to think of the easiest way to do things here. There's also a new dupe in here that I could use to help me out on this planet. Um, why don't I... It won't let me build anything, with, which is interesting, because I've got plenty of igneous rock chilling. But I guess since a dupe isn't here, it won't count. The other problem is right now, they can only get to the teleporter if they're wearing an Atmo suit, which means they take the Atmo suit with them. But I don't want them to do that if they're staying over there. So I should probably open up the pathway to the teleporter to send stuff is here 
And that maybe shouldn't require an Atmo suit. Yeah, let's let's dig through there. So we can send items. And then the receiving side on the other end is down there. Okay. We will have to avoid the slime long. I forget how hot does it need to get to kill slime long? Um Will it tell me? Temperature range 10 to 100. Okay. Killed by solid, oxygen, or liquid. Disinfected by bleach stone or chlorine gas. Okay. I'm not really sure how we deal with slime lung and slime. I can't remember all the strategies. So we'll, we'll figure it out. For now, I need to go back and look at how everything's doing. One issue is that this room's too hot. Uh, the steam temperature's too high for what we've got going on here. And that means we're adding more heat to the steam turbine here. And it's just gonna keep making things hotter and hotter. So that's problematic. Because once it gets to 100 degrees, it'll stop running. So, uh, yeah, there are problems here. Um, problem one is this airlock situation. Do that. Um, yeah, so we need to send a dupe in there to close off some of these steam ports. Or I can do a vacuum airlock situation again. And then I can only connect it if it actually. Uh, I don't know if I'm making sense. But basically, I can do this situation and leave that open, which will be a vacuum, and it won't transmit heat unless that closes. So then I can keep it closed based on temperature. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna open that. How am I gonna do this? I feel stressed. Uh, there's so many options here. Um, I do think being able to regulate the temperature is a good idea. So that means iron ore, airlocks, like that. Maybe I make them face the other way. Um, Cause then that should allow for what we need. And then the middle one Yeah, because if we don't... Hmm. I guess the other ones don't need to be mechanized. Oh, I can't turn it so the power goes the other direction. I can just do a mechanized in the middle. Uh, I, need, I need to insulate it around it, though. So maybe I do... Manual. I do a manual there for heat transfer. The mechanized is the vacuum one, and then I do another manual. And then I do insulated tiles here and here. Okay, and I cancel that. And I'll just need like a temp shift plate. And that should, it should stay hot enough in here that I, I don't think I'm going to have to do too much um, management of other stuff. So, yeah, and then we'll have to figure out cooling of the steam turbine, which means I'll need an aqua tuner in here, I think. To cool off the steam turbine. So I'll need a thermo sensor up here to run an aqua tuner down here. Realistically, I should just use the same water that's up here. Hmm. 
Is that worth redirecting? Maybe. Um. Because if I have it. Uh, redirect. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's worth it. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But we'll do a liquid bridge. Um. Maybe right here. So it'll go that way. And then back. Insulated. Here. And here we go. Radiant. Like that. And then more insulated. Back to there. And then I'll disconnect that once it's all built. And that will basically add in cooling. And then we need to do the same for that one. Though, I may not need to do cooling for that for a while because it won't activate till that's at 150. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, for now it's fine. And is any of this unreachable builds? Seems like they can reach it all, so that's good. And we deconstruct that tile. And it's a bit unfortunate this area is going to end up way too hot. Steam's going to get in. This area is mostly blocked off. So it's fine. I could add another airlock if I really wanted to. I guess I want this to be auto. There we go. And now it should function. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Why did you not grab an ammo suit? What the heck? What just happened? Or were they about to? I'm actually really confused on what was happening there. Were they opening the door and then they'll grab the ammo suit? Okay, good, okay. I was really like, oh my god, they're not gonna put on the ammo suit. Okay. So it's gonna let out some hot steam. Yeah, that's annoying, but. There are worse problems in life. And I can delete the steam that way. Although I didn't delete it. I think it squished it out the top. Interesting. Interesting. Well, didn't get very much done on that trip. Now this is taking overheat damage. Which is wonderful. You guys are getting nothing done with every single trip you do. It's horrible. It's horrible. All right, I actually need to cancel that too. because of the well, I guess I can open them up as they go. Um, I actually, that's out of cinnabar? Yeah, that's out of the wrong material. I need it, to, or is that the best material? Hold on. Um, I should have looked at this before. A manual airlock out of wolframite versus cinnabar versus iron versus aluminum versus copper. What are the options here? So we've got Obviously, aluminum and wolframite are the best in terms of conductors. Aluminum has a 0.9 SHC. This is 0.134. I mainly want this for conductivity. So aluminum has the highest by far, but a melting point of 1,000. So wolframite is the winner, I think. Low SHC is nice. That means the temperature changes easily. 
but still very quickly. Um, iron ore is not the best, but it's still a thermal conductivity of four, which is fine. Okay, so I want two wolframite doors here and here. Okay. And then I will need an automation uh, switch. Already got the thermo sensor. I guess I'll need a different one. I'll need a different thermo sensor. That will sense the temperature and automate the door opening and closing. Scalding? Put on the suit, dummy. What are they even doing? They're getting nothing done. They're like running in here, but then they're not doing anything. Oh my God, they're picking up the iron from right there. Oh, that's painful. And they're picking up 20 kilograms at a time. Also, why? I'm on fast speed. Why are you going so slow, Jonathan? Goodness. Oh, this is a mess. This is a true mess. I really should have done a liquid lock. Um. I mean, I still could, but it'd be a pain in the butt. So I'm going to do what I shouldn't do and ignore the problem and just hope it goes away. I am going to prioritize that. See, the problem is they keep getting scalded as soon as they pop in here. Oh god. What if I do a temp shift plate? Just out of, I don't know, iron ore or something. Maybe that'll help keep things a little cooler. And then I can do a temp shift plate out of ice to keep some cold in there. Speaking of cold, this is all starting to melt. Oh, these are ice temp shift plates back here. That's kind of nice. And for the part where this is all filled with water now. Oh God, we have all sorts of problems, don't we? Um, I need to open this up for more water. Okay, good. Finally, stuff is getting done. How did that get changed to lock status? When I had just set it to auto? How did that happen? Concerned about that. Huh. Also, I forget. Can I deprioritize the sweeping of this stuff? There's still no off limits, is there? Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, that's an unreachable bill. Right. Dig that tile in. Oh, here's the supply teleporter output. It's literally right next to my. I've already discovered it. Just I I've ignored most of this stuff because I've thought it's mostly flavor, but clearly it's not. Um, another thing I need to do is work on my automatic rad bolts. Getting more wheeze warts moved over here could help. That's certainly one option. Um, we've opened up the obsidian now. Oh gosh, it's so hot in here. We're just constantly repairing these docks. This is so bad. Wait, shouldn't that be... Wait, what? How did a dupe without a suit get in there? What the heck? I 
I'm super confused. Um... Uh... How did a dupe get in there without an Atmos suit? They shouldn't be allowed to do that. I, I'm actually legitimately... Like, did I just find a bug? Is it because it's next to a door? Because a dupe shouldn't have been allowed to go in there without a suit. They passed by the checkpoint with no suit. Edison, you're about to die. Freaking, oh my gosh. We do not need more dead dupes here. Such a mess. Oh, that's Meta Mike, not Edison. Oh, Meta Mike's almost dead too. Oh my gosh. Um. Crap. How do I get you to stop doing any of this? Um, cancel that. Um, You're gonna go murderize yourself if you come down here. Actually, that's acceptable. It really is frustrating that dupes don't have any self-preservation. Like, they should know at least large temperature changes, I feel like they should be able to, I don't know, figure out like, hey, that's a large temperature change. I'll die if I go do that thing. Okay, we did it. Finally got this all built. Um, so it'll send a green signal if it's above 150. Once it drops below 150, then it should stop sending the green signal. This door will close. And then that'll connect this airlock, which is very hot, to that one. So that should net us effective temperature control so it won't be too cold. And now we're using this ethanol. Oh crap, I forgot to disconnect here. Um, that should fix the direction of flow. And the warm ethanol will kind of go back into here, which is slightly problematic. Um, but it should catch up, you know, once this cools off. But for a minute here, it's going to be sending warm-ish ethanol into my base, which is going to cause, yep, problems with the crops. But it should, shouldn't should last long. Our steam turbine's already cooled down to 35. You can see how fast it's going down. 35, 34.8. Yeah. And all this water here is actually really convenient. Because that'll help hold the temperature. And I could set this thermosensor on like a shutoff, but I figured I'd just keep the cooling automatic. It'll just always, always be cooling this area with the coldest stuff that comes out of the thermo tuner. So, should be fine. Oh, and we're about to see this activate. go. 
pretty immediately. One one second of it being closed, and then it gets hot enough. Because this thing's a thousand degrees, so as soon as that closes, it moves a lot of heat. Wow. Cool. So that's how you do a self-regulating temperature thing. It'll keep... It'll keep... Sa oh, that's new. Cool, the lava... It's so weird to see rock getting all melty like this. But the, uh... The obsidian's cooled off a bit. This one still hasn't hardened at all. But yeah, eventually, I'm not sure. We're gonna have to burrow down deeper to get access to this. I just, I think it'll last a long time before I have to do that. But eventually these won't be hot enough to transfer enough temperature into this chamber. No, uh, maybe I should keep it at like 170. I could put a temp shift plate in here if I wanted to, to kind of keep... Temperatures are kind of fluctuating up and down quite a bit. But I think it's fine. The steam is hot enough to turn the water back into steam. I don't need to do anything there. This is down to 25 degrees, continuing to cool off. And yeah, we've reached negative four for the whole pile, which is a little too warm. Is we're coming in at negative 20 here, but then we're leaving at zero. Because <laughs> we're having to cool off all this water, which is 250 kilograms per tile. Oof. That's more water than I'd like. So that's part of the issue, too. Um, I could do a one-time addition of a couple ice temp shift plates. Which will create more water to cool off, but it's starting off at a cold enough temperature that it should help in the long run. Because at the end of the day, it's just about DTUs exchanged, and it, this will get us closer to the steady state where we don't have to keep cooling it. I think. Yeah, a lot of work to get free power, and this was just a total nightmare. I definitely could have done this better. Um, I also don't know exactly what, uh, what's going on with why that kept changing from auto to lock. I mean, obviously it has to do with the red signal from the signal switch, but I still don't fully understand how that works. Um, so yeah, we let a lot of warmth out. Building melted. Perfect. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Down to 13 degrees on the steam turbine. Oh, right, I only have one transformer, so the aqua tuner can't run constantly, which is also interesting. And then this isn't getting cooled which I think I already talked about, but uh, I think it'll be okay for now. We can just obviously route the aqua tuner stuff past the turbine to cool it off a bit. I could I could even route the input past the turbine. Um, not that it matters, because it's gonna drop 14 degrees either way. So, I guess that wouldn't change much. Look at the glitchy graphics, that's super weird. I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, we'll keep an eye on this obsidian. It's about a thousand degrees right now, and we'll see how long it takes for it to drop to, you know, I don't know, 500. Eventually, it just won't be hot enough to keep things uh, boiling. But for now, we're good. We're cooling the steam turbine. I don't know if... Now, here's a question. Is the power I'm using to cool the steam turbine costing me more than the steam turbine's making? I don't think so. How many DTUs does this delete? I might need to Google this real quick. 
It moves about 600,000 DTUs. But only about half that with ethanol. Um, and this is producing how many DTUs? It says only 4,000, but I don't think that's true. I think it heats up some percentage of the DTUs deleted. Steam turbine ONI. Okay, heat transferred to turbine at 170 degrees Celsius is going to be around 60,000 DTUs. And that's to produce 850. Oh, it measures heat production right on the steam turbine. 70,000 DTUs. There you go. And that's to produce, you know, 600 watts or whatever. I guess this can be a little hotter. Um, and so, yeah, if it's producing 80,000 DTUs... And this is deleting 300,000. Then this is taking a third, 400 watts. This about half of the energy the steam turbine makes, I have to pay back into cooling the ethanol. That's not great. How did this get to 280 degrees? What happened here? Maybe I do need a temp shift plate. Things are getting a little wonky in here. Um, something was glitched out here. Um, I don't know what happened, but temperature, this was open, meaning there should be a vacuum in there. But somehow this was cooling off as if it was connected temperature wise. I don't know what happened. I did get a temp shift plate built, which should help regulate the temperature a bit in here. Um, I don't know what happened there. I set that to 180. But yeah, whatever happened, it was weird. It was like there was gas in this tile or something somehow. But that shouldn't be possible. I don't know. Anyway, we seem to have figured this out mostly. Oh, it just closed for a minute. All right, and now, of course, we've stopped all our crop growth by doing it the way we did it, which was a terrible way to do it, I do admit. Um, I should have piped a separate loop down here such that it won't exit, because basically we're making it so warm that the stuff exiting is warm. And I kind of need it so that the stuff isn't allowed to exit unless it's cool enough. I guess that's part of the problem is I don't have it set up that way. So it's cooling off a maximum of 14 degrees. But then that is then getting warmed up and then that's getting put into the pot. So that's the problem. And I also added a lot of warmth because we ended up having more ethanol circulating, which ran our ethanol distiller for a while which starts out pretty warm. So we kind of doubled down on our warmth issues there. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with this and we've still got our free natural gas power, which is pretty freaking awesome. And yeah, I don't really know how far we're gonna end up getting. Oh, that's why we can't mine that. I don't know how far we'll end up getting in this playthrough. I've had a ton of fun. I can't believe we've already made it almost 300 cycles, but Satisfactory 1.0 is coming out soon, so I don't know how many more episodes we'll do, but I do appreciate you guys joining me on the journey, and um, it's been pretty fun. It's been pretty freaking fun. I forgot how awesome this game is, and there's a good chance that there might... Well, we'll see. I, I'm thinking there's a chance that between satisfactory 1.0 and factorio 2.0 we could have another oxygen not included run in there but when satisfactory comes out we will certainly be pretty uh what oh the temp wait did i put an ice temp shift plate here i think i did we've had a lot of melting needless to say um but yeah i think i'll uh 
I'll open that up, let that drain. So they don't have to dance around in soggy water here. All right, now the steam is regulating the way we want it to, where it's not quite, it's not so hot, because if it gets to over 200 degrees, you're adding more heat into the steam turbine for no extra power. And so then you're just basically wasting power because the aqua tuner has to cool it. So that's obviously a very bad idea. Uh, we don't want to do that. But yeah, I think we'll call that an episode. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next one.